So we are here at Tin Cannon now. Um, it's less crowded than the last time I was here, but there's also snow and there wasn't snow the last time I was here. So yeah, the last time I was here was December. But oh uh, yeah. But um, we might get some pizza first actually because no one has um, food trucks in right now. Like I see some places have food trucks, but they're always during the week for some reason. And it's Saturday. Like, wouldn't you think there's more people on a Saturday than during the week? So, like, why wouldn't you have your food truck during the week? Or during the weekends when there's more people? So, as you can see in this image, um, once again, I'm doing a voiceover again, just due to it being kind of busy at the brewery when I film this. But from right to left, there's the Dark Hazel, the Revenge of the Zift. Probably said that wrong. The Oatmeal Raisin Cookie Stout, and last but not least, the Peter Parker Porter. And I'll go into more detail about each brew in a minute. So here you can see a little bit of the menu, and later on, on my coaster, you'll be able to see the first beer, the Dark Hazel Stout. It's an Imperial Stout. Um, it tastes like a very strong, yet flavorful coffee. Everything in this stout is like trying to really vie for your attention. You got rich chocolate, the strong coffee flavor I mentioned, and then this very nice hazelnut flavor to complement everything. The next beer is the Revenge of the Zip, a uh, American IPA. Um, it tastes like an IPA, but it has this curious dryness that kind of reminds me of wine. The typical hot bitterness isn't really overwhelming or off-putting at all, so it's a good, you know, intro to IPAs. The flavors are light and they blend pretty well with each other, so, you know, it's your typical IPA, but basically nothing too overwhelming. For our next beer on the list, we have the Oatmeal Raisin Cookie Stout, which is, as you guessed it, an oatmeal stout. Um, it is the Christmas beer, even though I was able to get it back in, what, January, but I'm not complaining. Um, best way to describe it is that it tastes like you took an oatmeal raisin cookie and you dunked it into a stout and then ate it as it was soaked in stout liquid. <laughs> There's the raisin oatmeal flavor that comes through and then you have that strong, you know, typical coffee chocolate flavor of the stout that also follows the rest of the flavors. Um, really? The main thought running my mind drinking this one was that I really want an oatmeal cookie and I feel like it should be a requirement for them to serve like, you know, just a small piece of oatmeal cookie with the stout. Last up, we have the Peter Parker Porter, which is a Baltic style porter. Um, I had a few porters in the past. I never really paid attention to what style they've been. So I don't know if this is my first Baltic style or if all porters I've been having is Baltic style. But um, it is a good classic porter. It's stronger in flavor than your typical porter, which I really appreciate as a stout person. Um, uh, dare I say, actually, I would say this stout, or my bad, this porter does taste dangerously close to a stout, and I say that in a good way. It is 7.3% ABV, so that could be why. But um, in terms of taste, you know, the typical malt, caramel, slightly coffee, a little bit of chocolate, but like I said before, stronger in flavor than your typical porter.
Okay, before I forget, I wanted to like film real quick how dirty this truck is. <laughs> Which usually the only dirt it's covered in is like mud and well dirt, I guess. But this, like, look at that. That's all from the salt and other crap on it. And this is from yesterday. This isn't from today. Let me just say that too. Damn. Damn, that's pretty bad. Holy cow.